Okay, this is take 402. Hopefully the camera's autofocus is on. And the battery's not going to run out halfway through doing this video again. So, yeah, this is called Dude Clem here with even more computer questions. Now, before I start asking questions, I'm going to point out that I have done the CPU retention clip thing. So, that is now all the way down, like it should be. And I had a little bit of a scare when I was doing that, because when I took the cooler off, it pulled the CPU out with it, and bent a couple of the pins. So I had to spend a couple of hours straightening those pins, and just hoping it still worked, and, well, it does. So, on with the questions. Now... I've done the memory thing as well, but I don't know if I've put them in the right sockets. Now if I could just get the light to stay on here, this is kind of difficult. I'm trying to do this all in one shot. Hopefully you can see it. So, I've got one memory stick right in the socket closest to the CPU, then there's an unpopulated socket, then the next one along has got the other 8 gigs of RAM in it, and finally an unpopulated socket again. I don't know how well you can see that, because the light is not very good there. I don't know if I've put them in the right sockets, because in the manual, they are labelled A1, A2, B1 and B2, not 1, 2, 3 and 4, so... I don't know if it's... 1, 2, 3, and 4 going from the processor outwards, or 4, 3, 2, 1 going from the processor outwards. And I think I might have got it wrong, because if we look in CPU-Z, um, pay no attention to the fact that this looks like Windows 98. I've installed a classic pack, classic theme pack. And I'm going to memory. I'm not getting very good memory speed. I think it should be a little faster than that. And the other thing is that I did a little experiment disabling hyperthreading on my CPU. Now, before I did the hyper um, disabling the hyperthreading, this thing here would show 16 little graphs there. Now it's only showing 8. I tried re-enabling the hyperthreading and doing a full power cycle. And it's still only showing 8 cores. It should be showing 16, but it's only showing 8. We'll go into the BIOS here. Show you what I'm doing. Power. Restart. Hopefully my keyboard is still working. Right. Okay. Alright, so here we are in the BIOS. I'm going to get it advanced. So, what I did was, um, I went here where it said the, um, oh, what's it called now? Uh, symmetric multi-threading. So, I put this as disabled. See what that would be like. Then when I tried to re-enable it, well, this is on auto, I did a full power cycle, so well, let's do that right now. I'm going to go into exit, save changes and exit. Am I pointing the camera at it? <laughs> but, yep. Okay, so save configuration and exit, yes. Okay. I'll just make sure it's... Saved all those changes. We should see the thing come up in a minute. There we go. So, turning off the power. So, doing a full power cycle. Mm -hmm. Turn the computer on again. I 
and we'll just go into the BIOS first to make sure that I have the multi-threading enabled. So let's just have a look in there. Advanced. Yep, see, it's on auto. It's too glary in the camera as usual. So that all looks good, so yeah, we'll just discard changes and exit. So we know that's on auto, okay? It doesn't say enabled, it says auto, but that's the settings, that's like the default settings, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for Windows 10 to boot now. So you might want to fast forward the video, because I'm just doing this all in one shot. Also, this would be a great opportunity to see just how fast Windows 10 boots, or for want for a more of a better word, how slow Windows 10 boots, even though I've disabled a bunch of services and other things that I just do not need. The countless hours of please wait screens. Alright. I'll put in a pin. Oh, that's another thing. Is there a way to set up Windows 10 without having to set up some kind of password system? Because this is irritating. Alright, so we're on Windows 10. Oh, this is another question I've got. Why does the task manager load every single time I boot up Windows. It never used to do this, but now it does. Let's see what it says in here about the CPU. See, the Windows 10 task manager says cores and logical processors as 8. If I try to get the old task manager to come up, I'll have to put the camera down while I do the control alt delete So this will bring up the old task manager. You see, it still says 8 cores. It should say 16 all along here, and it doesn't. So, why isn't hyperthreading back on? And also, why does the other, the you know, the Windows 10 Task Manager come up every single time I boot Windows? So, if you can answer any of those questions, and please let me know, because this is really worrying me now. 